Hi everyone, in this video I'm showcasing a project I completed for the CS50 web programming course. And for this project I had to create a single page website where users can register and send emails to one another. So let me go ahead and log in with an account I already made. The first feature we had to implement was the feature to send mails. So I'm just going to compose a mail now to another user that I've already created. And once you submit it, it gets sent through the back end uh, API that we were given, and it takes you to the sent mailbox as required. The next feature is to be able to load any of the mailboxes. So by clicking on the various mailboxes, you can load the appropriate mailbox, and each of them shows the sender, the subject, and date and time that it was sent as required as well. Um, if it's unread, so if it's unread, it's supposed to display differently. So I'll open a another window to show that, um, and log in with another the other account to which it was sent. And as you can see here, um, this email is the one I just wrote, and because it's unread, the background is in a different color. Once I view it and then go back, um, it becomes red again. So the next feature is the ability to view the email, which is exactly what I just showed. So if you click on the email, you can view the email. Um, if I make it bigger, it shows slightly differently. So it shows the subject of the email. It shows the information about the timestamp, where it came from, to whom it's going, and the body of the email. Um, it also has the features to archive and reply, as well as go back to where you just came from. So if I just came from a sent email, um, then I can go to, let me bring this up, yeah, I can go back to the sent mailbox um, and so on. So the next feature is to view in, uh, no, we just did that. So the, the feature after that is to archive or unarchive. So over here, I can archive this email and it brings me back to the inbox as required but then if I go back to the archived it's now in the archive and an archived email can be unarchived and then it's back in the inbox uh, as required and then you can also reply to emails as well that's the last feature um, so let's just reply to this one so this was sent to me yeah so I can reply to this and it pre-fills it with the email of the person who just sent the email to you as well as the subject with re in front of it so i can be like and once i send that it's in my send and of course, the other account does receive it. And they can also reply back to it if they like. And it, again, as required, it shows, it artificially inserts this line into the email. And I also indented it just for visual purposes as well. And so the conversation can flow like that. So that's it. Um, I learned a lot from this project again. Uh, in particular, the use of CSS to style elements differently and using JavaScript to manipulate that a lot. Um, so thank you so much, and I look forward to the next project. Thank you.